ओम शांति एटींथ में इंग्लिश होली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन योर फेथ डेवलप थ्रू नॉलेज एंड योग नॉट बाई हैविंग विजन विजन आर फिक्स इन द ड्रामा बट दे डोंट बेनिफिट एनी वन क्वेश्चन ऑल दो ही डेफिनेटली हैज मैजिक वॉट पावर डज द फादर नॉट शो आंसर पीपल बिलीव दैट बिकॉज God is all powerful he can bring the dead back to life however baba says i do not reveal this power but if someone does intense devotion i do grant him a vision this is also fixed in the drama the father has the magic of granting visions this is why some children have visions of brahma or shri krishna while sitting at home song who came to the door of my mind early in the morning om shanti this song is the experience of all the children there are many gatherings of the truth satsangs there are many satsangs especially in bharat and many opinions and ideas in fact those gatherings are not satsang there is only this one satsang there you would only see the faces of scholars or pandits etc your intellect would be pulled to them however here it is a unique aspect it is only once at this conference age that this satsang takes place this is a totally new aspect the unlimited father doesn't have a body of his own he says i am your incorporeal shivaba when you go to other satsangs you only look at the bodies you remember the scriptures and then relate them there are many different scriptures that you have been listening to for birth after birth this here is now something new you souls understand with your intellect the father says oh my long lost and now found children oh my shaligrams you children know that baba taught you through this body 5000 years ago your intellects go very far baba has now come again the word baba is so sweet he is the mother and father anyone else listening to this would say I don't know who their mother and father is he really does grant visions people become confused by this they sometimes see brahma and sometimes krishna and continue to wonder what that is while sitting at home many people have a vision of brahma no one worships brahma people worship krishna etc probably No one even knows Brahma. Prajapita Brahma has come now. This one is Prajapita. The father sits here and explains that the whole world is impure. Therefore, this one too has become impure at the end of his many births. No one is pure. This is why they go to the Kumbh Mela and the Melas at Haridwar. on the river of ganges they think that by bathing there they will become pure however those rivers are not purified rivers emerge from the oceans in fact you are the ganges of knowledge you are given importance you ganges of knowledge emerge everywhere it has been portrayed that the ganges emerge where an arrow landed it was a decoration of sooty an arrow you ganges of knowledge go to many different lands shivaba says i am bound by the bondage of the drama everyone's path is fixed my path too is fixed people believe that god is so powerful that he can bring the dead back to life all of those are told stories i only come to teach you what power would i show granting vision is also magic when people do intense devotion 
I grant them a vision. For example, I show them the form of Kali. They pour oil over her image. However, such a Kali doesn't really exist. Many people do a lot of intense devotion of Kali. In fact, Kali is Jagadamba. Kali does not have such a form as the one portrayed. When they do intense devotion, Baba gives them the return of their devotion. By sitting on the pyre of lust, you became ugly. Now, by sitting on the pyre of knowledge, you are becoming beautiful. How could Kali, who has now become Jagatamba, grant visions? She is now here at the end of the last of her many births. Deities do not exist now. So how could they grant visions? The father explains, I hold the key in my hand for granting visions. I grant them a vision in order to fulfill their desires for a temporary period. But none of them can meet me through that. I only gave the example of Kali. But there are many other examples such as Hanuman and Ganesh etc. Even when the Sikhs do a lot of devotion of Guru Nanak, they can have a vision of him. However, they still continue to come down. Baba tells you children, look, that one is worshipping Guru Nanak, but I am the one who grants him a vision. How could he grant vision? He does not have the key to grant patience. This Baba, Brahma says, That Baba, Shri Baba, gave me a vision of establishment and destruction. However, no one experiences benefit through a vision. There are many who used to have such visions, but they are no longer here. Many children say, I will develop faith when I have a vision. However, faith isn't developed by visions. Faith is developed by knowledge and yoga. I also told you 5000 years ago that it is I who grant you these visions. Mira too had a vision. It was not that the soul went there. No, while sitting somewhere, they can have a vision, but they cannot attain me through that. The father says, If you have doubts about anything, ask the Brahmin teachers. You children know that you are number wise. Rivers too are number wise. Some are ponds whose water is stagnant. People still go there with a lot of faith and devotion. That is the blind faith of devotion. Never ask anyone to stop doing their devotion. When they come unto the path of knowledge, they will automatically stop doing devotion. Baba used to be a devotee of Narayan when he saw in the picture how Lakshmi was massaging Narayan's feet like a servant. He didn't like it at all. It is not like that in the golden age. So, I told an artist to liberate Lakshmi from being a servant. Baba was a devotee. He didn't have knowledge. Everyone is a devotee. We are Baba's children. We are masters. I also make you children into the masters of Brahman. He says, I give you your fortune of the kingdom. Have you ever seen such a Baba before? Such a father has to be remembered very well. You cannot see him with your physical eyes. You have to have yoga with him. Remembrance and knowledge are very easy. You have to know the seed and the tree. You have become part of the corporeal tree from being part of that incorporeal tree. Baba has explained the secret of visions to you. He has also explained the secrets of the tree to you. Baba has explained the philosophy of action, neutral action and sinful actions to you as well. You receive teachings from all three, the father, the teacher and the guru. Baba says, I now give you such teachings 
and teach you such actions that you become ever happy for 21 births. A teacher gives you teachings and a guru teaches purity and also tells you religious stories. But there is no knowledge imbibed at all. Here, the father says, your final thoughts lead you to your destination. When people are about to die, they are told to chant the name of Rama so that their intellects go to him. The father now says, your yoga with corporeal beings has now become broken. I am now teaching you very good actions. Look at the picture of Sri Krishna. He is shown coming into the new world and kicking the old world away. You too are kicking the old world away and going to the new world. Therefore, your feet are towards hell and your faces are towards heaven. When a corpse is taken to a cremation ground, its face is turned in that direction and the feet in other direction. This picture has been created in the same way. There are only Mama and Baba and you children. You have to follow Mama and Baba so that you can claim their throne. The children of a king are called prince and princesses. You children know that you are to become the future prince and princesses. Is there any other father, teacher or guru who could teach you such actions? You become happy for all time. This is a boon from Shibaba. He grants you this blessing. It is not that we have his mercy. Nothing happens just by asking for something. You have to learn everything. You do not become something just by being given blessings. Follow his directions. Invite knowledge and yoga. The father explains to chant Rama, Rama with your mouth is just to make noise. You have to go totally beyond sound. You have to remain silent. Many good plays are also created. Those who are not educated are said to be Buddhas, innocent fools. Baba says, now forget everyone and become a complete Buddha. Follow the directions I give you. You souls reside bodiless in the supreme abode. Then, when you come here and adopt bodies, you are called living beings. The soul says, I am to live this body and take my next one. The father says, I teach you first class actions. When the father teaches you, that is not a matter of revealing power. When he grants you a vision that is called magic. No one else can perform the magic of changing human beings into deities. Baba is also the businessman. He exchanges all your old things for new. This one is called an old iron pot. He has no value. Coins now aren't even made of copper. However, there, there will be golden coins. It is a wonder how everything has changed so much. The father says, I teach you to perform number one actions. Become Manmana Bhav. Then there is also the study through which you become the prince of heaven. The deity religion that has disappeared is now once again being established. People become amazed when they hear the new things that you speak about. They ask, how is it possible for a husband and a wife to live together and yet remain pure? Baba says, you may live together. How else would you come to know? The sword of knowledge has to be kept in between you. So much courage has to be shown. There are tests too. People are amazed about these things. Because they are not mentioned in the scriptures. Here, you have to make this effort in a practical way. The aspect of a pure marriage applies here. You are now becoming pure. 
Therefore, Baba says, show your courage. The sannyasis have to be shown the proof of this. The Almighty Father purifies the whole world. The Father says, you may live together, but live a pure life. All of these are ways to remain pure. There is a huge attainment through this. You simply have to follow Baba's directions and remain pure for one birth. You become ever healthy for 21 births through this knowledge and yoga. This does take effort. You are the Shakti army. You conquer Maya and thus become the conquerors of the world. Not all of you will become this. It is the children that make effort who claim a high status. You purify Bharat and then rule over Bharat. No one can claim sovereignty over the world by battling. This is a wonder. At this time, they all fight one another and destroy themselves. Bharat receives the butter. It is the mothers who are saluted, who make this happen. The majority of you are mothers. Baba says, you have been following gurus and studying scriptures for birth after birth. It is now that I explain to you, judge for yourself what is right. The golden age is the righteous world. Maya makes it unrighteous. The people of Bharat have now become irreligious. There is no might remaining because they have become irreligious. They have become irreligious, unrighteous, unlawful and insolvent. Baba is the unlimited father. He therefore explains these unlimited things to you. He says, I make you once again into the religious and most powerful one. It is the task of the powerful one to create heaven. However, he is incognito. You are incognito warriors. The father has a lot of love for you children. He gives you directions. The directions of the father, the directions of the teacher, the directions of the guru, the directions of the goldsmith and the directions of the laundry man are all included in these directions. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children. Love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vadharna First point Follow the father's directions in this one last birth and live a pure life while living at home with your family. Show your courage in this. Second point Follow Srimad constantly and perform Elevated actions. Go beyond sound. Forget everything you have studied and heard previously. And remember the one father. Blessing. May you have a right to self-serenity. And experience the ascending stage by having balance of remembrance and service. Description. When you have a balance of remembrance and service, you will continue to experience the ascending stage at every step. Let there be service at every thought and you will become free from any rest. Let service become a part of your life. Just as all the organs are necessary in a body, similarly, the spatial organ of your Brahmin life is service. To have many chances for service, to have the place and the company are also signs of fortune. Those who take the golden chance of service have a right to rule a kingdom. Slogan, the form of the sustenance of God's love is an easy yogi life. Om Shanti.